Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a what's in my bag video, and I love these kind of videos. I've always loved these kind of videos, and I feel like they are just fading away slowly, but like, let's bring them back. So if you guys like these kind of videos too, be sure to give this video a big freaking thumbs up. And also, if you enjoy it, stick around by subscribing to my channel. I would love, 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 love to have you guys here, and you'll be notified every single time I post a video, which is twice a week usually. I actually haven't even told you guys this, but I recently got a new bag because I sold a few old bags and yada, 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 used that money, and I got this one. And for me, when I buy a new bag, if I see a bag that I'm just like, holy shit, I need that bag in my life, it's usually a good sign that I'm going to use it for a really long time because that's what, how it was for this one, which is my Chloe Mini Drew. I love this bag so freaking much. Here it is. Let's talk about it. So this bag is really cool because you can make it into a backpack, but I prefer to wear it crossbody because I think it looks really cute and chic. So I took everything that was in my old bag, put it in this bag, and then used it, and this is what you get. So I'm gonna start off with a tampon. Girls get periods. These are like really old glasses. I need new glasses, but these are my Tory Burch ones. Um, I got these my freshman year of college, and I use them to like read boards or like when I'm at the movies or something like that. I'll keep those in there because I need them though. The next thing I have in here is my wallet. I actually got this little card holder thing, which I use because I don't really carry cash with me very often. And this is from Louis Vuitton too, and I got it for Christmas. And it just holds my like California license, which I finally got. And then my debit card, and I also keep my credit card, which I have the Delta Sky Miles card. And this is like the best thing I think I've ever done. And then I have my school ID because often whenever I'm home, I always get questioned for a second form of ID because people don't believe that I'm actually from California. Like, what's this girl doing in Kentucky from California? That's obviously a fake. I've never even had a fake, which is weird. Then I have my little eyelash comb thing that I have. Um, I get my eyelashes done every other week. Comb out my lashes. I have a huge amount of keys. Everyone always makes fun of me for the amount of keys I have, but Homegirl just has a lot of stuff to carry. Not really. I should just, I sh should definitely get rid of some of these because this is just excessive. I have an exciting hair tie. Isn't that thrilling? And then I have my Miu Miu sunglasses. These are the coolest sunglasses I think I've ever owned. I know a lot of people don't like them because they let me know on my fashion video, but these don't have to be your favorite, but they are my favorite. And they look like this, and they are just like a purple lens sunglass, but they make me feel like a 70s soccer mom kind of in a way. I don't know. However, if you are hungover, I don't recommend these sunglasses because I've made that mistake twice now. One on New Year's Day I wore these, and then also on the day after Caitlyn's 22nd birthday when we were at lunch. I was like, wow, this thing sucks. And I just like really think that this color is very pleasing to the eye. Does that make any sense? Probably not. I always save my receipts. I'm very strange. I mean, that's not really strange. That's cool. Then at the bottom of my bag, I have another hair tie. That's so cool. And then I have this little portable charger for your iPhone that you just put like the um, USB charger cord thing into this and then you charge your phone. However, I don't have that in the bag so it kind of defeats the purpose of having that. And then I have a lipstick from Bite. A Kat Von D Lolita lipstick is my favorite lipstick. And then just like a little lip balm by Sugar. And then at the very bottom of my bag, I have another <laughs> lash wand. A lot of bobby pins and another hair tie, a ring. And then I have this thing from The Oaks, which, oh my god, I forgot I had this. A few, like back in December, Jill and I went karaoke and like the guy came up to us and gave us this token and it's good for $5 off your tab. And this is in Sherman Oaks. So next time I go, if I ever go, I will have this tab. And then in the back compartment, there's just like this little thing that you can use to put your cell phone in, but I don't use it that way because that would just make too much sense. And I just have like a few things back here. I have a pen, this deliciously amazing Pacifica Sugared Amber Dreams perfume. This stuff smells so good and it's like the best rollerball ever. And then I also have the Lolita lip stain because obviously you gotta carry around a lip stain and the lipstick version because that's not excessive. And then I keep just like club cards and stuff and the Louis Vuitton stuff 
I carry my triple A card in case I'm like, you know, in a desert and I get stranded on the side of the road and I need triple A to come save me. I have my health insurance from my mother and then my pavilions club card, which is my grocery and then my Kentucky license, which is expired, but I just really like that picture better. And then like a gift card debit thing. So it's exciting. That is what's in my bag. So that is the exciting what's in my bag video. It's really not that exciting. It's actually pretty anticlimactic because I don't really have that ex many exciting things in my bag. But I feel like that's everybody's struggle, unless they're doing one that's fake. Before I get any hater comments on why I got this bag, I actually sold two of my Celine's and I used that money that I received from that because I weren't using them as much as I should for how much they were worth. I wanted to get a bag that I would use every single day, so I got this crossbody because I love it. Then I sold my Balenciaga because I never used that and I used that money to get my Chloe Mini. So that's that. So that's just kind of like the story behind that. And I actually saw this bag on one of my favorite like purse blogger, video bloggers. And her name's Jen. Um, she has a store at L&M. And I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need that bag. So yeah, that is kind of clarifying any questions I might have gotten there. And I'm going to end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.